this is BBC News with me, Ben Brown, and these are the latest headlines in the UK and around the world. At the moment, a missile hit an apartment block in Ukraine's capital as the Russian military continues its assault. We managed to escape. We were in the kitchen. We were lucky. It was a direct hit into the living room. My wife and elder child have their legs broken open. The younger was taken somewhere by the rescuers. I am looking for him now. Siren sound as heavy gunfire rings out in the capital. Crowds of people rush for shelters. But Ukraine's president is still defiant. We successfully repelled enemy attacks in many cities of our country. We know what we are protecting, our country and the future of our children. The exodus begins. More than 100,000 people have already fled from Ukraine to neighboring countries. And I'm Kasia Madeira, live on the Polish-Ukrainian border, where already around 100,000 Ukrainians have come to this country. Poles are ready to welcome them. And I'm Lise Doucette in the Ukrainian capital, Kyiv, with all the latest on a fast-moving war. And around the world, protests continue condemning Russia's attack on Ukraine as Western nations impose personal sanctions on President Vladimir Putin. Hello and welcome to BBC World News. Well, it's becoming clear that Ukrainian resistance to the Russian invasion is stronger and stiffer than Moscow had been expecting. 